Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is kind of nuts. Oh, I'd love to talk about that on my YouTube channel. I am going home because, and bear with me here on explaining this. I wanted to kind of update on something I think I talked about last year, maybe even the year before. Whoa, that was a topic. Is this thing on? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We're taking it back to the 2012s where I used to just sit in front of a tripod and talk and update you guys on my life. I have a ton of topics written down that I just want to update you guys on my life, how I've been feeling lately. It's like a QA, and a but not because I didn't ask you guys to ask me questions because I just have things I want to talk about. And I do have a podcast called Gals on the Go, if you guys don't know, it's with my best friend Brooke. And I feel like I get to get a lot of my thoughts out on a podcast because it's a longer form of content. It's like an hour long episode each week on Wednesdays at Gals on the Go. But it is with my best friend Brooke. So, you know, we both talk about ourselves, but then it's like, okay, but now you talk about yourself, you know, naturally. So this allows me to just update you guys on my life and I don't have to worry um, that if I'm like talking too much, whatever, you know what I mean? So I have a list of topics that have just kind of come to mind that I'm like, oh, I'd love to talk about that on my YouTube channel. So let's just do a video where I update you guys on my life, talk about certain things like my workout journey, my relationship, stuff that's going on at home, just kind of a little bit of everything because I kind of leave everything out on the table. You guys pretty much know everything about me. I also am obsessed with this shirt. I rented it on Pickle. I have to shout this app out, not sponsored. I just, I love the app. It's amazing. So this is a Tay Park top. It's so beautiful. It's rever not reversible, but you can wear it two different ways. So I switched it to a halter, but earlier I was wearing it like a normal, like straps on either side. It's so flattering and so cute that I just had to film another video on it. I also, if you do live in New York City, I have re I've been renting out some of my nicer clothing items that I just don't wanna sell yet, but I wanna keep in my closet, but I want other people to get the chance to like wear these outfits to their nice events. So I have like 10 items on my pickle closet, only if you live in New York City, but it sets up a courier. You can rent it from me. You can say like how many days you want it for. It's awesome, I dry clean it for you. It's really cool. We're gonna crack open a poppy. This is a ginger lime. <sighs> ASMR, cheers. Oh, that flavor is so good. All right, we're just gonna get into the topics and have a chat together. But while I have you, please go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. I've been getting really into fall fashion and I love sharing my outfits on there with you guys. If you wanna follow me on TikTok, I've been having fun there. That's at Danielle underscore Carolyn. And then also I have an LTK where I link everything like everything I wear. So um, I'll have my LTK link down below, I always do, but it's just an easy way to kind of shop. What's, I literally link all of my videos. So you can shop my videos, you can shop my Instagram reels that I post, um, stories, just everything. Okay, first up, I wanna talk about my current workout journey. Cause I was just kind of sitting having this thought and I just get really hard on myself about working out. Um, I'm, I feel like a lot of people do. I've kind of gone in phases of working out. You know, sometimes I want to just do cardio or for a while I was just doing weight lifting. For a while I was just doing Pilates classes and it's really, I, I like having variation for sure, but then I find I'm less consistent. Brooke and I actually talk about it a lot. She's like, I like SoulCycle and I know I like it. So I just do that. And I just haven't found a workout that I feel amazing during that I wanna do every day. Cause some of these workouts I'm doing, like you just can't do every day, like I can't do every day. Um, so right now I've been enjoying doing like one or two Pilates classes a week. It's really, let's be realistic. It's been more like one Pilates class a week. I am here for a weekend workout. Um, I did a Pilates class on a Saturday morning a couple weekends ago and it was so nice. It was the best start to the day. I really like Pilates because it is challenging but I don't sweat a lot during it. So it's a very, it's a good like, if you're on your way to work, going to a Pilates class, like you still sweat a little bit, but I don't know. I just like it because if I'm a little hungover, let's say, or I'm just feeling a little bit more tired, I feel like it's a very restorative workout, but it really is working hard. I've also been dabbling in going back to spin classes. I've been having so much fun. I think what's been really helping me, and maybe this will help you guys, if any workout studio that you go to, if you go to one that has themed classes, those have been really nice for me. We all know how much I love Drake and I love Drake's music, um, especially when I'm working out, it's very motivating for me, but that's different for everyone. Someone might like Doja Cat to motivate them, you know? So for me, when I see there's a Wake and Drake class on a Monday morning, like I'm gonna go to that. Or I went to a Taylor Swift themed class recently, it was Reputation versus 1989, so that was really fun. Or there was like a Drake versus SZA class, or I think I did a Drake, I did a Drake in the weekend class a couple weeks ago. All like Drake related. 
And you know, I'm enjoying them. Some people don't like themed classes. They just wanna go and not even be thinking about the music. But for me, music is a big driver for me. So that's been really helpful. I'm trying to get better about like looking at what classes have themes and when those times are and seeing how I can fit them into my schedule. I've been really liking on like Sunday nights, kind of looking at my schedule my week ahead and kind of placing, okay, what workouts am I doing when? My favorite workout recently, and some people would say this is not a workout, walking. I have been loving walking. This morning I had to get up early because I was doing stuff like a video shoot and I was like, oh, I really wanna work out. But for some reason at 7 a.m. the idea of going to the gym wasn't really appealing. Pilates class wasn't appealing, but I really wanted to go for a walk. So my friend and I went for a walk. I literally woke up, we went for a 7.30 in the morning walk. Um, and thankfully it's not super cold out yet. And I think I'm just trying to take advantage of walks before it starts to get super cold because if you wanna go for a morning walk, in the winter in New York, like good luck, Charlie. It's dark out and you're freezing cold because it get, you know it warms up throughout the day. So I got up, it was hard to get out of bed this morning, I can't lie, so I was like, I could just text her and just go right back to bed, but it helps having a buddy. So if you have another friend that like has to be ready by a certain time, wants to go for, I called it a coffee walk. We went for a coffee walk, we both brought our coffees. We walked along the Chelsea High Line, which is such a privilege living in the city to be able to walk along the High Line. I'm so thankful to live on the west side now and just, it's so easy to get over there. It's like this raised, platform walkway along, I think it used to be an old um, railroad and it's along the water, kinda, you can kinda see the water I guess, but it's in meatpacking district, it's so pretty, there's so many gardens and trees and plants and it's so relaxing, especially on the weekdays. So we did that, we walked for like an hour and I got my favorite protein smoothie from Juice Generation after. It was 8.30 in the morning and I'd already hit 9,000 steps or like 8,900 or something like that. So yes, it's, like by 11 o'clock in the morning, I had already hit my 10K step goal. I'm still doing more research on what's the most effective. Right now, if I'm honest, like I am kind of having like a weight loss goal. No like specific pound, no specific number on the scale, but I, I am using the scale to kind of see where I'm at. Just like, I, I just want to feel good. And I feel good right now, but I want to feel better. And um, I've learned a lot about zone two cardio. Let me just let me just read it to you guys. Zone two training is typically the lowest zone used for training purposes. Thinking of going for a jog, walk, while you can still hold a conversation. Somewhere between 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. The purpose behind zone two is to be able to sustain a pace just below your aerobic threshold for 30 plus minutes. So that's a jog, but I think fast walking, I mean, that's, that's what, I hope that's still okay. I've been fast walking, cause I'm just, not the best at running. When in zone two, your body leaps on fat as its primary fuel source rather than carbohydrates. This means that you're burning more of your calories from stored fat. So, I mean, that's all technical and stuff, but I just kind of wanted to share that with you. So I think it's about being like pretty active, like fast walk, jog, or like on a bike, but you can still hold a conversation, but you're still a little out of breath. Like, so it's honestly perfect. I can kind of test it when I'm on a walk with someone and we're fast walking and I'm like telling them a story, but I'm still keeping up the conversation, but I'm a little out of breath. I think that's the goal. You guys can definitely let me know. I'm, I'm still learning. I am not a doctor. I am not a professional, but this is what I'm learning. And I think that's really great. It says like for 30 plus minutes. So if I'm going for a 30 minute, to an hour long walk. To me, that feels like a workout and it, it really clears my head in the morning. Like I woke up this morning feeling a little overwhelmed for the day, but getting that walk in, waking up a little bit earlier and going outside, putting on my puffer jacket, holding my coffee. Once I was outside, I was fine. Like I just needed to get out of my apartment. Anyways, this is a lot, but I just wanted to share that part with you guys. I'm kind of still feeling like I don't really know where I'm at with my workout journey. I've been really loving walking. So I'm just leaning into that. I was also thinking about it, like my friend Sydney Adams. I love her and Jay's relationship. I feel like it's so cute. They go to the gym together, they work out together. Not always, like she works out on her own a lot. She's a TikToker and a YouTube vlogger as well. Sydney Adams, I love her. When Ryan and I were in Mexico, which I didn't vlog the trip, but it was such a special trip. It was such a fun vacation. We stayed at an all-inclusive hotel. I've never done that before. We went to the gym together one day and it was so fun. Like he spot me, I spot him. Um, and I, I would love to be that couple that works out together because I think two benefits, obviously you're spending time together, but also it's kind of motivating because like, you know, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, your partner is watching you work out. Like, yeah, I'm gonna try and do a little bit better. I just think that would be really nice to have something to share with Ryan, but I just don't see a world where that could work out because he is very much only into weights. I mean, he'll do the Stairmaster. Well, there's two problems. One, we do different workouts. And two, 
we belong to different gyms. One of us would have to switch. I feel like it would be me because he doesn't really want to go to Equinox. He goes to a different gym and really likes it. And it's less expensive. Like Equinox is pretty crazy expensive. So I don't know. That's like such a champagne problem to have, but I would love that. And Ryan likes workout classes, but he just like, he, he knows his thing. He goes to the gym, he lifts his weights. That's kind of like his meditation time. And I feel like he's got to work out down. So I don't want to be like, you know, I don't know. Like it would just be fun for me. Like we go for walks, which I guess is where we'll leave it at. But I guess it's just more so when we travel and stuff, we could still work out together. I don't know. I just think it'd be cool to work out with him because then we could spend more time together. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is kind of nuts, but I wanted to talk about it because I'm going to be vlogging when I'm home in Tampa. When this vlog is up, I will be leaving Georgia. I'm going to go to Georgia this weekend for one of my friend's weddings. I'm so excited. It's like the first person in our friend, college friend group to be getting married, which is crazy. So I'm really excited. Like me and all my college friends are staying in like an Airbnb together. It's just gonna be the best time. And since I'm already in Georgia, I haven't been home since July, which for me, that's a really long time. Mainly because I have a dog, Finley, who is my family's dog, but like he, just means so much to me and he just turned three years old this past Monday. So, you know, I can FaceTime my family and all that, but I just, my dog, does, like I need him to know I exist and I need to remind him like I'm here, I love you. There's just a lot of change going on at home right now and I'll get into it in a second, but so I just wanted to be able to hop home. Like obviously Thanksgiving is next month, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I need to go home. So I'm going home for like three nights because I selfishly want to come back to New York for Halloween because Halloween weekend, my friend Katie's having her big Halloween birthday party. So I want to be here for that. And I really enjoyed Halloween weekend last year. I'm not like the biggest Halloween person, but I'm not like a Halloween hater. I do enjoy dressing up and I can't wait for you guys to see my costumes. I was kind of feeling lost. I didn't really know. Cause I feel like every year for Halloween, you know, you try to like one up the one from last year and you try to be creative and unique and something no one else has done. But like also at the same time, like that's so impossible. So I've come up with three costumes. I think I have three different parties. So I'm excited for you guys to see those. So you have to follow me on Instagram for that. I'll also probably do like a Halloween weekend vlog. So don't worry. I am going home because, and bear with me here on explaining this, my brother works and lives in Tampa now, post-grad, and he just moved to a new place. He lives on his own now. My dad lives in a new place, and my mom lives in a new place. So you're probably thinking, wait, what about your childhood home that you've never moved from, you lived from your whole, you live in your whole life, you visit there every year, every time you go home, let me explain. So my parents are divorced, and a lot of people don't know that because my family does a lot together. We've gone on trips together, literally with my parents' divorce. My mom literally has a boyfriend of 10 plus years. We haven't done a family trip in a while, but like last year for our Gals in the Go live show here in New York, my mom, dad, and my brother came and they flew all together, everything. I'm beyond grateful for my parents' relationship. It's so special, it's so unique. I, I you know, I'm, I'm, and I understand that and I realize how lucky I am. And my parents have done so much to make sure my brother Freddie and I feel so loved. And they just, I mean, I'm just so grateful because that just doesn't happen a lot. And I, it's just their love shows so much of how they wanted to make the divorce so easy. Like my parents told us they were separating when I was in fifth grade. I'll never forget it. They, they said, we're having a family meeting and then we're gonna go to Bush Gardens, which is like a theme park in Tampa. And we had a half day from school and we were so excited. Like, oh my gosh, telling all my friends we're going to Bush Gardens. We just have to have like a family meeting. We had never had a family meeting before. So now whenever there's a family meeting that my mom calls, I get a little panicky because I'm like, okay, well, the last time you guys told me you're getting divorced. So yeah, they told Freddie and I that they were separating and then they literally took us to a theme park that day to show that they really do still love each other and still want to be all together as a family. And you know what? It was a little weird. I'm sure some therapist told them to do that, but at the same time, they really stuck to their word. I mean, Freddie and I were in the worst mood. Like, I don't want to ride a roller coaster right now. You guys are getting a divorce. But I can laugh about that because, you know, they really stuck to it. And throughout the years, I, I am just so grateful. Anyways, with that, so when my parents got divorced, my dad moved to his own place which was very close by. And then my mom kept our childhood house because that house was so important. She was gonna be raising us, my dad has work. It just kind of made sense. Fast forward to now, this is so crazy, you guys. My mom, in the last month, moved out of that house and my dad moved back in. <laughs> I 
can't make this up. So basically, like I said, my mom has had this amazing boyfriend. Of t I want to say partner because I don't think they're ever getting married, but they are together forever, I would assume. He's a great guy. He's actually from New York. And they were just ready to have their own space. Like he moved into that house and it was never really his own home. Um, and they always had dreams of living in their own place together. They kind of wanted to downsize and just have, they're living in a condo now. They just want to, they want to travel more. They just don't want to have as much upkeep. But my mom realized how important that house was to us. And I mean, like I, you know, it's not my house. I don't necessarily have a say, but like that house, I feel like it's part of my YouTube channel. I can cry about it. I mean, I, oh. That house is really special to me. It's really special to a lot of my friends. I feel like to you guys, that backyard is, it's just so special. Anyways, this all happened when I was here in New York. So long story short, my mom and her partner moved out. They found a condo and my dad moved into the house and is selling his old house so that they, we can keep the house in our family. And my dad loves that house so much and I'm sure, and I know I, I've heard that he's very happy there now. So it's really crazy and it is weird though. Like this all happened while I was gone because they told me they were gonna do this. And I mean, I'm so beyond grateful. Like that shows eternal love. Like our parents were literally willing to make all this work. My dad's willing to move back into the house literally so we could just have this house in our family. I mean, my dad loves the house, but like he is doing it for us, which just means the world. I don't think I'd ever move into that house one day. I think it'll be Freddie. Freddie's the one with the bow with the, you know, he's a Florida boy and I do want to move to Florida one day, but I think I'd want my own new start. So selfishly, I'm really happy that Freddie would take it and like still allow me to come visit there whenever. But yeah, it is just so special. But when they told me about this, I was here in New York and I was like, excuse me, what? Mom's moving out, dad's moving in. I'm like, you're swapping? And they're like, no, dad's just moving into the house. I was like, okay. My mom found her own place and they just started touring places just for fun. The goal was to move next summer. Like for my mom to be in the house, you know, one more Christmas, one more Thanksgiving, stuff like that. And then she was gonna move next summer, but her and her partner went and toured a condo and you know, peaceful Michelle, she was like, I just knew in that moment it was so right. And I get it, it's a vibe, it's a certain thing. And it was, it's a big deal. She's lived in, she had lived in our house for 30 years. So yeah, that's a big move for her. And she had her meditation room in that house. And you know, that was a big deal for her, but it was a good change. Anyway, so they found this condo and it was like, okay, you have to move in next month. And I get this call when I'm here in New York and I'm like, holy shit, I mean, not to make this all about me, but whoa, there's just so much happening and I wasn't able to make it home, like to help with the move. Like there's just a lot. So I just need to go home. Everyone's really happy. Um, my mom's, you know, my mom's still gonna come over to the house all the time like my dad did. I mean, he's so sweet. He's like, please come to the house whenever you want, whenever you're needing a fix of this house, whenever you wanna go out back, whenever you wanna use the pool. Like they are so great together and you know, my mom's partner obviously is so nice that he's so cool with all this. Like I have such a modern family. And then also, yeah, so it'll be so interesting because when I go home, I'm gonna stay with my dad now, which will be great because I never really used to stay with him. I would want to stay at like my childhood house. It's funny though, Finley, our dog, he's gonna kind of like split his time because my dad, another thing, when we got Finley, me, my mom, my dad, and my brother were the ones to go pick him up because my mom's uh, boyfriend partner was working. Um, but it's very much his dog too. It's just like literally our family dog. So Finley means a lot to my dad too. <laughs> it's just so unique, you guys. Like Finley has sleepovers at my dad's house all the time. So with this, since my mom and her boyfriend were downsizing, you know, Finley's used to this big house where he gets to roam around, he has the backyard. So they kind of decided, I mean, there's nothing set, but like he's gonna split his time. He's gonna be at that house and then he'll be at my mom's condo too. But I think like when my mom goes to, I don't even know. He's just trying to split his time as much as he can. Finley's trying to split his time. My parents are trying to make sure Finley feels comfortable. Basically, my parents are amazing people and that's probably why I'm a little bit of a people pleaser because <laughs> my parents are probably watching this, but I think we all have a little people pleaser in ourselves. And, and you know, sometimes that's good. You know, we, we basically all just really care about each other and want to make sure everyone feels super comfortable, probably too comfortable sometimes, but that's just how we roll. It's how us Carolyn's roll. So yeah, I'm flying home on Sunday night and my dad will pick me up and take me to the house and I'm really curious to see. And I, I, was, I was debating on if I would even talk about this, 
and I talked to my parents and they were like, you can totally talk about it because it is gonna be obvious. Not in my Instagram and stuff like that, but I feel like when I vlog and my dad comes out of the primary bedroom instead of my mom, like that might be confusing. Um, and the decor I think is a little bit different. Like my mom basically left most of the furniture for my dad because she wanted to kind of change up her vibe. She's kind of going for this kind of vibe, which I'm excited for. It's like a beach condo, so I'm really happy for her. So I get to go see that condo and see how she's decorated that. Um, and then I get to see what my dad's doing with his new decor. I think he just, I think she brought a couple chairs with her. So we switched out some like chairs in the living room and obviously his bedroom's different. Um, and my bedroom's completely the same. It, it, it's, it's, it's one of the easier moves because it's to the same family. <laughs> it's so weird. Like I haven't talked about this in a minute. And like when I tell some of my friends the story, they're like, whoa. But if you know my family, it just makes sense. So. I am so beyond grateful. I mean, for Thanksgiving this year, Ryan's coming to Thanksgiving, which is a big deal, he's never been. And Delaney's family is gonna be in Tampa because her brother just moved there for work. So their fa her family's gonna come to Thanksgiving. But the plan was my mom's boyfriend is a chef and he was gonna cook for all of us on Thanksgiving. And like, we didn't wanna change that. So they're still gonna come on Thanksgiving and cook in our kitchen and have Thanksgiving. <laughs> So it's gonna be a very easy change, but I think it is gonna be weird for me, you know I'm so close with my dad and I'm really excited to spend more time with him because when I would go home I would always stay with my mom and I felt definitely guilty about that So now it's kind of roles reversed now my mom. I'm not gonna probably see as much But it'll be good because then we'll probably have more quality time So yeah, I get to see my house kind of changed up like my dad did I get to see my brother's current living situation with his roommate and then I get to see my mom's new condo so there's just so much going and I get to see Finley so that's what's going on I know that's so nuts um, but I'm really thankful that that is the situation and we're not losing that house because that house means everything to me whoa that was a topic I wanted to kind of update on something I think I talked about last year maybe even the year before moving into the city and really just moving at all for anybody not just me I feel like post-grad was a big wake-up call for me. You know, I was so used to having my friend group and every Thursday night, it's like, okay, what are we doing tonight? Saturdays were game days and I knew who I was hanging out with. And that took a while too in college. Like I forgot that I didn't get to college and I had a friend group. Like it took a long time. So then I think it felt like a start over when I moved to the city and I was like, oh my gosh, I am so beyond lucky. Can we talk about this for a second? My best friend roommate from college, Shalini moved here. My best friend from high school, Caitlin, moved here like a month or two ago. My other two best friends, Morgan and Mary Steven, moved here around the same time. Brooke, Katie, I met Kellyanne, my friend Seb, Kat, I mean, Katie, Cass, like there's so many people. My friend Daly, one of my best friends from college. I am, like I have to take a step back and be like, oh my God, so many of my favorite people live in the city. Ryan, my boyfriend, <laughs> one of my best guy friends from high school is Ryan's roommate. Like so many, I am just so grateful and so, do I have a group chat that I text and it's like, what are we doing this weekend? Not necessarily. And at first it really bothered me, but after talking to a ton of people, I am realizing that that is so normal, especially post-grad. Like you don't have to have the set thing. It's, it's actually very exciting. I, I have different friends for different things, you know? Like this morning, I knew Seb loves to go for walks. Like she's my girl, we're gonna go for a walk. Or we like to go to workout classes together or certain things. My friend Caitlin or Delaney or certain Mary Stephen Morgan, like they're my friends that I just wanna sit on the couch and like laugh with, you know? Brooke is my ride or die, like we do everything together. We work together, we go to events together, podcast together, and I'm so grateful for that. Like I just have different people in my life for different things. And I think it was unsettling to me at first and I was comparing myself to other people. And now I'm realizing like it's a blessing that every weekend I can kind of just see where the weekend takes me. And you know, I'm also learning that like you can't take it like, Offensively because my friends I travel a lot and guess what so do my, a lot of my friends a lot We're starting to get into that wedding season where my friends, you know might have a wedding one weekend and I have a wedding the next or You know one of my friends is going home to visit their parents Well, I'm not going home to visit my parents the same That's how it was in college You know we all went home at the same time for the long weekends or we all went home at the same time for the holidays And I guess we still do that post grad, but it's just different schedules are different hours are different work is different and I'm just realizing to not take it so personally. Like even if some of my friends end up going to hang out together without me, I'm like, I just know how life works. And I just realize it more so now that it's not because they don't like you or they didn't want to hang out with you. It's probably just convenience or maybe they had not seen each other in a while so they met up and then they happened to see the other girl and were like, hey, come hang out with us. Or, you know, like it's just, it does, it's not that deep. It's not like 
they didn't invite you. It's more so that just worked out for their schedule. Stuff like that. I don't know. I'm definitely rambling. This is such a ramble video, but that's what I wanted. It's kind of like a personal podcast episode, but I really come to peace with it. And it's, I'm trying to look at it in a way of like, it's actually nice that I don't have to do all the same things with the same people every weekend like I did in college, even though I love that. Now it's kind of like, if I want a weekend with just Ryan and just have a time together, I can do that. Or if I just want to have a weekend that's open and see what happens, I can do that. Or this past weekend, it was kind of just, we saw how the weekend went, but I got to do stuff with like Caitlin and Delaney a lot, who are two of my best friends, and now they're friends, and we got to do stuff together. It just kind of depends on people's schedules, what they're in the mood for. Like I wasn't really in the mood to like go out on the town and neither were they, so it just kind of worked out. But other people were like, I want to go out, I want to meet a guy tonight, or I want to stay in tonight and just be alone. Like everyone, is on their own journey, especially in our 20s. I think it's a defining decade. Isn't there a book called Defining Decade? I need to read that. <laughs> but I just kind of want to update you guys on that because I was really struggling with it for a second and you know, that's natural. But now I'm at a point I feel like where I have my go-to people and I know how they feel about me. I'm not gonna go crazy reaching out to people that aren't like giving it back to me though. I think it's very, it's a two-way street. You have to pay attention to that, but also like, it's not that deep. So just hang out with who you want to hang out with when you want to hang out with it, but also don't take it personally if they can't because life is a bitch sometimes. So yeah, that's kind of everything I wanted to talk about. We went all different directions. I hope you guys were able to keep up. Comment down below if you like this video, if you want me to do more like this. I'm gonna do like a q and I think soon so I can answer your questions. These are just things that I was like, I want to talk about, um, but I know I'm not answering questions that you guys probably have for me. Um, I want to do more fashion videos and I just I want to have more fun on this YouTube channel Not that I'm not but I want to challenge. I want to make some new videos So let me know down below what you guys want. I will still be doing week in my life vlogs I'm gonna vlog while I'm at home So you guys should definitely watch the Tampa vlog when it comes out because you'll see all kinds of things happening I love you guys dearly. Thank you so much for watching this video subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys next time for my next video. Bye-bye